Hi Taurus and welcome to your tarot horoscope for December 2017 by Ama. This reading is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Rising and Taurus Moon. So if in a particular month your sun sign doesn't make sense to you, please listen for your moon sign or your rising sign because your messages at different months may show up either for your sun sign, your rising sign, or your moon sign. This will be a general reading. For those of you who would like to know more, uh, please visit my Vimeo uh, page where I am uploading a whole new video for you. I'm going to give you an Akashic reading about the month of December, an energy clearing and Reiki healing. The link for that, for those of you who are interested, is right down here below. Also, if you'd like to contact me for a private reading, please email me at amalightworker at gmail.com. You may also visit my website, www.amalightworker.com. Uh, thank you to all of my returning subscribers. If you are new, welcome to you. And a reminder for everybody, when you subscribe, please turn on the little bell, the little bell icon this way the notification button this way you, you will be notified every time that i upload special videos happy holiday season to everybody if you celebrate christmas merry christmas to you and happy new year uh, so the new predictions for the new year 2017 i'm sorry 2018 will be uploaded in uh, december so please stay tuned for uh, that and your Akashic reading for the month of December will be done live in the first days of December. That's why it's important that you have that notification button on so you will be notified uh, when the uh, live session uh, begins. Now, allow me to focus on this reading for uh, you. The general feelings that I am picking up for this uh, month for you, Taurus, has to deal with you figuring out or taking a deeper look at your finances. For some of you, this could be money coming uh, to you. There's something about your partner's uh, finances having to deal with certain changes, uh, situation that uh, happen uh, all of a sudden, having to make important decisions, but whatever in your life you felt that you are stuck, I do keep getting this feeling of many of you being unstuck and kind of driving or moving forward, plans to travel and dealing with your own inner feelings of dissatisfaction, reevaluation, going within, or trying to find a new purpose uh, for uh, you. So trying to give a life uh, a new meaning or even a whole new uh, direction. So now allow me to bring it, to break it down one by one. The first card that you have is the tower. Falls in the position of what happened in the past that may still be influencing you in your present current situation or your future. Uh, the meaning of the tower, to me, it means uh, sudden unexpected changes, uh, financial problems, conflict, separation, loss of uh, faith. So generally, it doesn't have a good uh, meaning. But allow me to tune in. The rest of the cards are pretty good. Uh, so allow me to tune in so I can hear psychically the messages as to why this card showed up in this uh, reading. For some of you, some time ago, you kind of had this big moment that was very life-changing for you. For some Torians, it did show up as you having to change homes and even maybe not just to change homes, maybe some of you completely moved out of a state or even out of the country. For other Torians, this big change in your life that completely changed the rest of your life has to deal with a divorce 
or with a breakup of a relationship that to you felt like a marriage. But first and foremost, divorce uh, came uh, through. Now they're saying, many of you have been kind of sensing this energy of change because you are about to have another life change, another life transformation. And I also keep getting that for many of you, even though you felt the worst after this move or after this divorce, your life actually got better. You just had to go through the initial difficulties. And emotionally, the energies were trying to prepare you that um, a thing that you may be getting re ready for another one of these life-changing events. But it doesn't have to be so powerful, so powerful or so dramatic like it used to be in the past. It is actually about releasing this card. It is showing up in this reading because you need to release, you need to release not just attachment, but you need to release all of these feelings that are connected to this uh, event in your uh, life. It doesn't matter how long ago this uh, was. Also, some of you, you probably had some issues or some concerns with gossip. Maybe people perceiving you in a very judgmental uh, way, in a life that wasn't doing you justice, uh, or even bothered by gossip. Doesn't mean that the gossip is about you, it could be about other people, but there's a sense of being bothered by uh, gossip. In your mind, your thinking may be a little bit scattered and you may be feeling a little bit all over the place. You may be having a lot in your mind. For some of you, it is uh, maybe you have a lot in your mind and you are trying to express whatever you have in your mind through writing, through a book, through publishing. Uh, for other ones, this could be work could be stressful. You seem to have this pattern where uh, work situations, uh, even though initially they seem to be promising, it feels like first you have to go through some difficulties before it becomes better again. But you always go through this disappointment a little bit. Uh, because you were hoping that work was going to be different, then suddenly it feels like a wall uh, hits you. It does feel that new things will be happening in the workplace. Not so much about work as it is about the workplace. And you're going to witness people being, sh uh, being moved around maybe be moved in different apartments. Uh, there's going to be a change with the people that you work with. Maybe they're going to be assigned to different duties, different departments. So there's going to be some sort of a restructuring or a reorganization uh, when it comes to work and the people with whom you uh, work. And it does feel that if you didn't understand or if you didn't feel that you were benefiting or you had nothing to do with uh, you, it does feel that in December you are going to kind of feel the other side of the coin. You're going to feel uh, how good this plays out with uh, the plans that you have in your mind for your life. So you're going to feel more, uh, more uh, settled and it's going to make sense to, uh, to you. You're going to benefit from some sort of restructuring that is happening in the work uh, place. Now, uh, please be careful of any electrical wiring because for some of you, uh, 
uh, that could be a uh, problem, a problem, especially during holidays when people have to do a lot of cooking. But for some reason, I'm shown some electrical wiring that seems to be um, you know, that if you overwork it could uh, could give you a problem. So this is how it is. Uh, coming uh, to me and maybe having to deal with some delays in flights, delays in uh, travel, and some of you could be worried. Maybe in your mind you feel or you need to find a new home uh, right away, and you may be worried a little bit about having to find uh, a new home, a new residence. The next card that you have is the Ace of Pentacles. Now, one of the meaning of this card has to deal with a uh, separation or a divorce, and one of the meaning of the Ace of Pentacles uh, is uh, being engaged, an engagement. There's other meanings to this card. It also means new solid gain, new friend, new prosperity, and new wealth. So whatever the tower is bringing to you, the Ace of Pentacles is compensating for uh, that. Some of you could be getting a bonus. I do keep getting money being given uh, to uh, you. For some of you, this could be about a, a commission. Maybe you did some work in the past and you didn't get paid on time or right away, so it could be some work that you did in the past. Now you are getting paid for it, and it does feel like a commission for some of uh, you. You may be having offers. You may be having whole offers about a new credit card, offers about from your bank, about uh, something. And for some of you, it does feel that you're going to put a lot of thoughts uh, into uh, maybe the mortgage. And maybe that's why you need to talk to the bank or there's like communication back and uh, forth. So it does feel like you may be trying to lower your mortgage or any other uh, monthly uh, payments, but mortgage was the first and formal, the first thing that came to me. If that's not the mortgage, that could be uh, your rent. It could be to, you know, some of you uh, wishing that you can uh, move or even really trying to find uh, another place uh, to live. Your partner's money um, or your partner may be having some good money, good money, uh, a good sale if they have a business. They may be having a good news. Maybe the bonus is not coming from you. Maybe the bonus is coming um, from your from your husband's or or your wife's uh, bonus. So. Um, There's a situation with a partner. I don't know what kind of partner this is. Could be a partner uh, in business if you have uh, one. And if you are looking for this big investor, this big opportunity, this could be your partner bringing in that important client, bringing in that uh, in, uh, that uh, investor. The marriage for some of you. It does feel that either you have to travel or your partner has to travel and it does feel like trying to make it happen, make it all uh, happen. And it does feel that some of you, especially if you are married, you may be uh, spending money in traveling. And maybe it's holiday season, people uh, do, uh, tra uh, do travel. Um, there is a deeper meaning or there's a deeper connection. There's going to be an important talk or an important conversation between you and your partner. And it does feel like 
you're going to re-examine some old problems or some old situations. Old situations don't have to be old problems. But there's going to be an important talk about some old situation. But this time around is going to be a much more uh, deeper uh, problem. So if you find yourself having some sort of financial concerns or worries or problems, it does feel that you are also going to find a solution uh, for it. The next card that you have is the Four of Cups. Falls in the position of the near future. To me, the Four of Cups, it means dissatisfied or disappointed. It also means taking things for granted refusing to acknowledge goodness and sometimes to me it also means uh, boredom. For some of you it does feel that whatever you are doing it doesn't you don't feel that you are getting the results that you were hoping to uh, get. That doesn't mean that you have, that you are not getting the results but it feels like you are not uh, getting out of this uh, whatever you you thought you were going to get. For some of you, this is mostly at an emotional uh, level because some of you could start to research about school, courses, higher education, different colleges or universities, certification programs, trainings, and it does feel that this could be like a half idea, but some of you Autorians are really going to dedicate um, the next few years to you uh, exactly getting that, getting whatever you feel that you don't have yet. So for some of you, you could be pursuing your education. You could be pursuing your education in the next uh, few uh, years. But this is also about your status. Uh, it is not only about your emotional status, it is about a status that you have, that status is changing. So, could be that marital status, and now for some of you, you could make that official, maybe you got divorced, but you never changed your uh, last name, so now you could be uh, making that uh, official, therefore officially changing your uh, status. It could also be... Uh, this new relationship that, or this new connection with someone new in your life. I don't know if this is a relationship, but it's definitely a connection that is going to make you feel very elevated and very much uh, uplifted. A sudden opportunity, a sudden offer is being shown to me. I don't know what kind of offer this is, could be an offer that you are looking for, uh, if you are writing a book or trying to publish a book, offers to travel and visit uh, other people or to spend the holidays uh, together. It does feel like these offers could be showing up out of nowhere or at the very last uh, moment. It feels like some of you will be preparing for next year to really uh, take your physical fitness, your fitness level at a whole new uh, level, whatever this means for you. For some people it means uh, going back to the gym regularly, for some people they're already at the gym, so you could be thinking maybe you need to change uh, your exercise program or whatever fitness, uh, other fitness program uh, you're uh, into. So it is, it feels like you may be preparing to change what is it that externally you don't like about your uh, self. If you are looking to get some insight or some clarification, it does feel that uh, you may have to consult with a few people until you get exactly what you were looking for. So, if this is not about money, you're consulting with different people until you find exactly what you are looking for. This could be about emotional advice, this could be about a reading, this could be about astrology or psychology. So, it does feel that someone will give you this 
inside will give you that motivation or the inspiration that you need to elevate your soul at a higher level. So for some of you, maybe you need more of a psychological insight. For other ones, it could be like more of an astrological insight. For or uh, it could be about getting the right information. Could be about publishing. Could be about legal stuff. Could be about finances and uh, finances and uh, investments. But what I get is that gradually you are growing stronger because some of you may realize that you may not be afraid anymore to kind of be on your own or to do your own thing. It does feel like for some of you. You're going to be like, whatever you used to be afraid in the past, you may not fear that uh, anymore. So for some of you, it specifically is coming, not afraid of being uh, alone. The next card that you have is the chariot, falls in the position of advice. To me, it means a victory, overcoming obstacles, positively driving uh, forward or positively moving forward. Introspection, going within, re-evaluation. It also represents decisions of passion and confusing uh, issues, re-examining uh, your affairs, reassessing the situation. And sometimes when this card appears, sometimes could also bring to you people from the past or it could bring to you uh, situations from the past, so bringing back the past, that's uh, another meaning of this card. I do see for some of you, for some reason, going back and forth between uh, two uh, homes. This could be, uh, this could be because of different gatherings, it does feel like you could be spending a lot more time over your parents or over somebody else's house, but there's going to be a lot of going back and uh, forth. There will be a second book or a second location or a continuation or something that you are doing. So I keep getting phase two or a second uh, or, a, or a second one. And this could happen totally out of nowhere. Maybe you don't really plan for it, but it does feel that. So, for example, if you have a YouTube channel, you may be opening a second uh, YouTube channel. If you have a Vimeo channel, you could be opening a second account. If you have a Facebook account, you may be opening a second uh, account. That's how the energy feels uh, into this. There's going to be a re-evaluation, at least emotionally, about how you feel about people. And um, when you are around certain people, how do they make you feel? Because for some of you, either you are looking to expand the people that you like to, uh, the number of people with whom you like to spend more time with, uh, new people that maybe you could be more open and now to be meeting them and to be engaging more with uh, them. But also there's going to be some cutting off with the past. So you could be uh, cutting off from your life, but maybe I shouldn't put it that way. You're going to put some distance between you and some other people. You are not going to completely cut them off your life, but definitely you are going to put some distance between you and at least uh, another uh, person. You're going to be a little bit in your mind like, uh, did I make the right decision? Is this right for me? Does it feel right? So take your time to think about it. Take your time. And whatever decisions you took in the past, some of you still feel that uh, maybe it wasn't the right choice. So it's just a state of mind. It's just your thinking. I don't see you uh, going in the wrong direction due to your decisions or due to something that is happening. Generally, it means that you are going to be moving forward. So stop contemplating and rethinking in your mind. Stop going over uh, you know, your decisions or your uh, plans. Uh, if you were waiting for 
uh, it does feel like this letter arrives and he has some sort of a positive news or it could be a letter of uh, acceptance or it could be a letter about studies or if you were researching about something then you will receive a letter uh, that is related to this uh, research because something in the mail is being shown to uh, me. Uh, to me. Uh, you could be doing some sort of a short distance travel, maybe you don't plan for it as of right now, but in the last moment maybe you have some sort of an opportunity to travel and for most of you it does feel like a short distance uh, travel. Maybe that's why I keep getting that image of you from um, you know, one home to another home and kind of going back and forth. The next card that you have is the Seven of uh, Pentacles. So to me it means labor, dissatisfied with its hard harvest, working hard and taking a break from your hard work, but it also means working hard and now watching your money grow or your savings uh, grow. And sometimes, yes, it does mean that you have concerns and you are just waiting to see, uh, you know, you are putting your energy, your time, and your effort into something, and you are now just waiting to see uh, the uh, results. So allow me to focus so I can figure out what does it mean for uh, you. Um, a lot of you, for some reason, you will end up saving uh, money, even though you may be worried about uh, money, some or many of you, the majority of you, seems that in some ways you are going to end up uh, saving uh, money. It doesn't feel that anytime soon you have to worry so much about your financial uh, situation, but rather it does feel that your finances are going to grow and next year you are going to find yourself uh, very pleased with your finances. However, the fear, the concern, the worry, it doesn't seem that uh, is leaving you. The concern is always going to uh, be uh, there. Many of you will prepare to launch new things next uh, year. This could be launching new things with your career, um, making some sort of a change that will affect your family living and your family uh, situation. And for some reason, there's a little bit talk about grieving. Some big loss that you have experienced in your life that has to deal with uh, grieving. Either you, you lost someone important to you, like a family member, this could be your partner or your spouse losing someone on his or her side of the family. And this is being brought up now because during this holiday season you may honor their memory in some uh, way, maybe visit uh, the graveyard and understand that the meaning of the card has nothing to do with what I'm saying. This is just the messages uh, coming uh, through. You may be uh, willing to spend a little amount of mon money maybe to do something in their um, uh, memory. And if you are someone who did experience some sort of a grieving in your life due to the loss or the death of someone you loved, you are, in the, you are very, very close to being healed as much as, you, as much as you can. So there is a huge healing uh, going on. Or if it hurt it so much in the past, it does feel like you are able to cope uh, with it and you're going to be happy or you're going to find uh, happiness uh, never uh, the less. So money is uh, growing and for some of you, you do have some plans of investment in your mind. However, you are keeping your mouth shut 
and whatever your ideas around investments uh, are and how you like to use this money, it feels that for right now it needs to be hush hush or a secret or only talk to specific people about uh, about uh, that. Um, you may be getting some sort of a um, something that is wrong. Maybe like there's going to be a, there's going to be a mistake that will need clarification. It's just it's not your mistake. It's some mistake that somebody else made. Made could be like a uh, like a notification that you get from the bank, but it's totally uh, wrong, or is uh, it doesn't. Uh, it, or it doesn't affect you, but whatever it is, it feels like some sort of a mistake that uh, will be uh, fixed. And again, it's not a mistake that you uh, made, but it will uh, be addressed to uh, you. So I'm going to leave it at uh, this. I'm going to leave it at uh, this. So it's going to be. Uh, a month where uh, in your mind you're going to have uh, you know um, a lot of uh, money or money worries in your mind however I do see money growing and uh, your life in general being steady or and getting better and you are going to overcome whatever this tower will bring to you uh, personally so I hope that that made sense to you. And before I go any farther, I did close the reading, but somehow now they're telling me that the tower, if it doesn't make sense to you personally, nothing bad is happening. It simply represents your transformation, the transformation of your soul, your personal uh, maturation, your personal uh, development. So uh, uh, spiritually or emotionally, December could also feel a very... Uh, transformative for many of you uh, Torians. Out with the past and getting ready for uh, the new. You're going to have at least one new beginning during this uh, December. I hope that this made sense to you. Please leave me a comment right down be below. I would like to hear from uh, you. If you like a personal session, please email me at amalightworker at gmail.com. You may also contact me from my website, amalightworker.com. Happy holiday season again. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Stay tuned for the live streaming because we're going to do your Akashic Records for the month of December uh, live. Uh, click in the show more description box right down here for uh, useful tips and useful uh, links and I will see you soon in the next videos. Bye!